Hey everybody, hopefully you liked our last video for One Year to an Organized Life where we were talking about time management. Now for weeks three and four, we're gonna be digging into how we've spent our time organizing the kitchen. And you'll see how that goes after this. So first up for week three, we had to answer questions in our journal about things that we liked about our kitchen and things that we didn't like about our kitchen. And so we went through that. And then we had to also focus on things that we might want to change, whether mm -hmm. it was moving things around in a way that was easier to use in the kitchen or if it was even like... Blow out some walls, which yeah. thankfully we don't have to do. Redoing stuff. And we do have a few things that we need to finish up in the kitchen. We have to change the microwave, yep. and we have a little bit of backsplash left to do. But other than that, there's not really anything huge that we have left to do. So our favorite part about week three was called speed elimination. So for speed elimination, you set at least a 15 minute timer, and you go through and open all your drawers, and you just very quickly, in about 15 minutes, look and see what you know you absolutely can live without. It helps to go through with whoever you're doing this with so you don't accidentally throw something away that they're interested in. <laughs> but you go through together and you just take the stuff out that you don't need anymore and you just take it and you put it on your counter. And after your timer's up, you have all of the things that you really don't need in your kitchen anymore and now you get to choose what you want to do with that. And as you can see here, we got rid of a lot of stuff. We completely went through every single cabinet and every single drawer and got rid of way more than we previously thought that we were actually going to get rid of. And one of the nice things about the journaling exercise we did at the beginning of the week is we kind of wrote down what we liked about our kitchen and what we didn't. So going into the speed elimination, I knew things that I wanted to get rid of and we had talked about things that we didn't need anymore and so it actually made it a lot easier to think about it a little bit ahead of time. When that 15 minute timer started, it was easy to part with stuff because we had already thought about it. So now that we gave you an update about week three, we're gonna move on to week four. And week four was all about actually organizing the kitchen and the pantry and putting your things into categories so that everything that you need for one activity or one time of cooking or whatever it might be is all in one space. And an example of that might be, instead of having all of our utensils for eating and baking and measuring and cutting and stirring and peeling, all of those things in one drawer, we decided to break those up so our silverware is in its own drawer and our baking and other cooking utensils are in their own drawer. And so by doing that, we're able to get all of the baking utensils near all of the baking bowls mm -hmm. and the baking measuring cups and the KitchenAid and stuff like that. And so now if somebody were to be baking in this house, it would be a lot easier because everything they need is in that one section. So the biggest thing that we did is we put all of our cooking supplies on one side of the kitchen and all of our eating and food storage supplies on the other side of the kitchen. So this was my favorite part of organizing in week four and that was redoing the pantry. And we had some stuff to organize the pantry like these little white wire shelves. Um, but I wanted, you know, baskets and clear buckets and just things that made the pantry look a little bit more put together. And it's really nice to have this because like for the chip basket, if we want to have chips at dinner or lunch one day, we can take out the whole basket. Or the girls can come in here and they can see the snacks rather than just a bunch of boxes and um, you know, cracker wrappers all over the, the counter. And then over here we have you know, we got a new shelf for all of our cans, and Joey really likes coffee. All, so, of, my co all of my coffee syrups. All of his coffee Don't judge, syrups. you like it too. <laughs> so we were able to put that, and so we have all of the coffee supplies. Rather than it just being shoved on the counter, we have everything tucked away, easy to grab, including our hot chocolate, teas, coffee, drink mixes, just it's all nicely tucked away but very easy to access. So we got some containers, like Kim showed, we've got our baskets. There's other things that we wanna do. We wanna take some of these baking supplies like flour, rice, brown sugar, and we wanna move them into containers. 
but we're trying to be responsible and since we do a budget every month and it's the third and fourth week of January we didn't have enough money set aside to buy all the containers we need so we're gonna be budgeting for extra containers in February and we're gonna be purchasing some Rubbermaid Brilliance containers which are airtight and they're like baking pantry storage containers so hopefully with those new containers and some lazy Susans will round out the purchases we need to finish organizing this pantry in February but we have made such a huge difference and it's already so much more functional than it was I know exactly where everything is and it's a lot easier for me to put things back because there's a system that's very well established that I can just easily take something out of and put it right back into it because it's obvious where it goes Alright, so that is the end of our week three and four update. We hope you enjoyed these great changes we made to our kitchen and pantry. And yeah, we just love that we finished off the month with our habits going strong and we actually got things organized in the very first space. We hope we can continue bringing you these updates each month. So I know I also said that we were going to be giving updates of what we were doing throughout the weeks on my Instagram at Kim's Creative Corner, but I decided that we're just going to put updates on our Instagram, the Peters Family Vlog, just because it's a lot easier to keep up with one Instagram rather than two. So if you'd like to see some of the updates before we put the videos out, you can follow us there and see what we're up to. If you like these update videos, give us a thumbs up, let us know. And if you guys are interested in the book that we're following along with, One Year to an Organized Life, we'll go ahead and put a link to that in the comments below. It certainly made a big difference in our organization and just our day-to-day -day life. I'm on like a 29-day streak of taking the garbage out every day, which is huge for me. I, I think it's pretty awesome. So hopefully you guys like it, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.